Hey everyone, it's Tom here from thisonlineworld.com. I hope you're having a great day today. I know a lot of my content focuses on ways to make money or save money as a college student or young adult, but honestly, I've seen so many different posts online and on forums over the past few weeks about how to make money online as a teenager. So today I figured we'd tackle eight different jobs you can use to make money as a teen. I know the world's a bit crazy right now and everyone's stuck inside, so I think today is the perfect time to look at some online jobs that you can start today or some side hustles you can turn towards to make some extra money. If you're a teenager looking to make money online and to learn some valuable skills along the way, this is the video for you. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Tom, I run the blog thisonlineworld.com and I make videos on side hustles, how to make money online, and personal finance advice for young adults. If you're new, I'd love if you could subscribe, you know, stay tuned for when new videos are released. I'm going to try to put them out as often as I can. There are plenty of, you know, classic teenager jobs out there like working at your local pizza store or landscaping or getting a part-time job during school. These jobs are great and all, don't get me wrong, I think they're awesome for saving money during high school, maybe you're saving up for college, or you just wanna save up money to buy a car, or you know, for when you move out and you get your first full-time job. But I think it's safe to say that a lot of these teenager jobs don't exactly go a long way in improving your resume or helping you build new skills. I worked as a dish boy for a bit during high school, and I worked as a barista at Starbucks during college. They never really taught me a lot or made my resume stand out from the crowd. So today we're gonna to break down eight different online jobs for teens that can make money and also improve your resume and kind of make you gain that competitive edge when you're applying to schools or maybe you're even applying to a job during college. Quickly before we start, uh, I ran a little giveaway before on my video on how to make money with online surveys. It was a small one. I'm going to be emailing or messaging those winners of the gift cards. Congrats whoever you are. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe because who knows, we're at like 70 subscribers and we already did a giveaway. So there might be something coming at 100 subs. Who knows? Subscribe, stay tuned. There's more videos coming and I'm yeah, we're going to have fun with it. So yeah, let's get to the job. So idea number one for how you can make money as a teenager online is to actually sell services on Fiverr. Fiverr is a massive online freelance marketplace. You know, you have things like content writing, graphic design, logos, animation, voiceovers, SEO, you name it. If it's, if you can sell it, it's on Fiverr. I mean, there's people selling witchcraft services and spells. You know that Fiverr can get pretty niche in terms of the, the things freelancers are offering. Now, I'm not recommending you sell spells or witchcraft on Fiverr. I think that's stupid. Fiverr is actually awesome and you can start selling on Fiverr as early as 13 years old, which a lot of people don't know. Now, like Upwork or other freelance marketplaces, Fiverr is really just a hub of business owners and freelancers and it provides, you know, that trustworthy, secure platform for them to exchange business. Fiverr takes a cut and they're a middleman in all of this, so it's not as lucrative as, you know, landing your own deals. But again, it's a great way to get your foot in the door because it's, buyers are already on this marketplace, so you don't have to do all of the hard work necessarily. Whatever you're good at, you know, it could be making logos, YouTube thumbnails, helping people write content, could be managing their social media pages, whatever, you know your skill is better than I do. Fiverr is a great way to start. So you can make a seller profile for free, list your services, and then over time, hopefully you get some business. But people get scared of selling on Fiverr or Upwork or marketplaces like that because of how inundated they are with competition and lowball offers. This is where I think people make a mistake with Fiverr, especially new Fiverr sellers, is that they just make their profile and then they stop there and they expect all the business in the world to trickle in. Like I said, Fiverr's awesome. There's buyers on this marketplace already looking for freelancers, but you have to put in a little bit of work if you wanna get your profile off of the ground. As a teen, my recommendation is to join some niche Facebook groups relating to your service. So if you make YouTube thumbnails, join some YouTube Facebook groups. If you help bloggers with you know their virtual assistant tasks, or their content writing, join and blog Facebook groups. There's tons of them out there. You can just quickly search for them in the search bar on Facebook and join a bunch and look for ways to add value when you join these groups. You know, start networking with bloggers or YouTubers or business owners in these groups. And when inevitably you're gonna see somebody post something like, I need a new logo, I need a website design, I need content writing help, I need help with, you know, whatever task it is you offer, you'll be able to pounce and say, hey, here's my Fiverr profile, I just started, I'll give you a great rate. You know me, I've been in the group for a while, I would love if you could help me out. I bet you, you're gonna get so much business. You know, I'm a part of tons of these groups myself. You almost never see teens, let alone college kids, pitching their services or interacting with with these communities, they're a bit, it's a bit of an older demographic. You're gonna stand out, and honestly, people are gonna want to help you out to get that leg up and to start your first you know, online business or your online freelancing career. Moral of the story, Fiverr is a great way to make money online as a teen. Just make sure you put in some extra effort 
and sell your services and pitch to clients outside of Fiverr as well. Idea number two to make money online as a teen is to flip items on eBay. You need to be 18 years old or older to actually open an account with eBay and sell on eBay. However, if you're under 18, you can get a parent or guardian to open the account and you're allowed to manage it and run it for them. Flipping on eBay is gonna take some time and patience and probably a little bit of upfront money just to build up your inventory, but it is actually a pretty profitable side hustle if you take the time to learn the ropes and you do it well. So my friend Nathan from the blog Millionaire Dojo, I've actually interviewed him before on my blog, runs a really profitable eBay flipping business. He goes to garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. He buys antique or vintage items. I'm gonna put a little screenshot of his store up, but he just flips them on eBay. Any given month, he's making a few hundred dollars in profit just by reselling items on eBay. So I know everyone's stuck inside right now, so it might be hard, obviously, to go out and find products to flip. So maybe start with some spring cleaning, you know, look around your house, ask your parents, hey, what do we not use? What can I sell on eBay uh, to get my store running? Start there, and then over time, you know, as you can actually go out and shop again, maybe look for local garage sales or thrift stores in your neighborhood. Kind of pick a niche for your store, like Nathan does vintage, maybe that's what you do, or maybe you do sports memorabilia. I'd recommend picking a niche just so your store has a little bit of cohesion to it and that'll also make your process of kind of sourcing products easier because you know the category of what you're looking for you know how to research the prices of different items kind of become like a specialist in that particular niche it's a tricky side hustle to get down but if you can actually get it running and your store off the ground you might end up like Nathan you know making a few hundred dollars a month of profit and this could be a really nice side hustle to have as you go through college and eventually get a job. Idea number three for how to make money online as a teen is to open an Etsy store. You have to be 18 years or older to open a store, but Etsy, again, lets minors run and manage an account as long as a parent or guardian who's 18 years or older opens the account. Etsy is a pretty awesome marketplace. If you're looking for vintage goods, prints, crafts, jewelry, Etsy is pretty much the place to go. What I really like about Etsy is it's like Fiverr in that you already have buyers on the platform looking for goods and services so you have to do a bit less of the heavy lifting going out and pitching people or building your own website or trying to attract clients yourself and maybe you make crafts or you know how to make jewelry or you make really awesome prints picking a niche on Etsy and working to build your store over time is again another great way to start making money online as a teen and to actually start your own business Etsy SEO or search engine optimization on Etsy's marketplace isn't impossible either I started a meme coffee mug print on demand shop on Etsy a while ago and it didn't go too well honestly because of copyright claims but I was already getting organic search traffic on on Etsy. I just used an Instagram page to drive traffic to my store. You know, I posted photos of my products and kind of engaged with some other meme pages and people who like memes. And it resulted in two sales. If you need extra help getting your store off the ground, maybe turn to your network, see if people you know would like, if they're looking for, you know, a particular art or craft or coffee mug or whatever, see if they'll buy from your store and kind of help you out. Early reviews on Etsy are really important. That's probably the toughest thing Etsy sellers have to deal with. You learn some basic Etsy SEO, you make good stuff and you work at it to get reviews over time. There's no reason why as a teenager, you can't run a successful Etsy business. Idea number four for how to make money online as a teenager is to start a blog. Now, I've talked about blogging before and how it's a great way to make money online, but I also realized that blogging is not fast income nor is it guaranteed income. However, if you wanna build an income generating asset or at least learn a ton of valuable skills, I think taking on a blog as a teenager isn't a bad call. Starting a blog realistically takes about $100 for your first year because you need to buy a domain name, your own hosting, and you might have to buy a cheap paid theme. There's content creators out there who are gonna tell you, no, you can blog for free, blog on Wix or Squarespace. Uh, no, they're, that's flat out a lie. It's not that you can't blog on Wix or Squarespace or a free version of WordPress. You're just putting yourself at such a disadvantage. And if you do actually find success and grow, it's just gonna be an absolute headache having to port over your content from your free version to your paid version. It, it's just a nightmare, don't do it. Please trust me on this one. You can actually get approved for Google AdSense if you're under 18, again, as long as you have a parent open the account or a guardian open the account who's over 18. If you put in some hard work to your blog, you get good content out there, you slowly build a following on you know, maybe Pinterest or Facebook or Instagram, and you learn the basics of SEO to develop some organic traffic, you can get approved for AdSense and start a money-making blog probably within a few months. Plus, you're gonna learn a ton about web development, content writing, SEO, networking, affiliate marketing. I, I cannot recommend blogging enough for young adults or teenagers looking to make money online because it teaches you so many skills and you might actually leave school with an income generating asset and not a lot of online jobs or side hustles are always going to do that for you. I made a video on how I make over a thousand dollars per month blogging. I you know, recommend giving that a watch. Regardless, I think starting a blog is a great way to make money online as a teen and you can do it for relatively cheap and it's gonna teach you so many lessons along the way. So I highly recommend giving this idea a try. Idea number five for how to make money online as a teenager is to write on Medium. So if the idea of blogging kind of appeal to you, but you don't want to drop a hundred dollars on hosting or more and you know, a theme and to get into WordPress and all of that complicated stuff, 
stuff. I totally get it. That's not fun. And a hundred bucks is a lot of money. But luckily you can write on medium for free and make money for it and actually make money a lot faster than you can. If you just started a blog, I put out a video before on how I made over a thousand dollars by writing on medium, just by porting over my blog content, but there's nothing stopping you from just writing on medium and not having a blog. Medium uses Stripe as a payment processing platform and Stripe just requires you to be 13 years or older. The medium partner program operates in a few dozen countries. I'm going to link down below where they operate, but you know, it's in North America. It's in a bunch of European countries, New Zealand, Japan. It's, it's all over the world. Medium's awesome. You can, you get exposure immediately. You can make money immediately as soon as you're part of the partner program. I haven't really found another platform where within 24 hours, you can start making money just by writing. In the first 24 hours of writing on medium, I made a hundred dollars because I got an author bonus for the first piece I ever submitted, which is just crazy. I wouldn't say that's typical of medium, but it just goes to show you the potential this platform has. Plus, if you can get your work featured in several medium publications, I have, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. That's pretty cool. You're a teenager who's been published in a massive online journal or publication like that is a pretty cool feat in and of itself. So I highly recommend checking out medium.com. If you love writing, but you don't want to go through the hassle of running your own blog, I think it's a great way to make money online as a teen and to learn more about the world of digital publishing. Idea number six for how to make money online as a teenager is to sell print on demand products. I mentioned print on demand when I mentioned selling on Etsy, but I want to dive into print on demand in its own sort of category because there's really two ways to go about this business. What is print on demand or POD? Basically a model where you create designs for products, but you don't handle any of the logistics, manufacturing, shipping, or any of any other problems that come you know with that that side of the business you get another company to manufacture and ship all of the goods for you you're just in charge of the design and in return they take a cut of any sales you generate there's kind of two ways to go about pod selling the first is to work directly with a print-on-demand manufacturer and then decide what sales channel you're going to use to sell products when i sold print-on-demand mugs on etsy i used printify which is one of the most popular print-on-demand manufacturers out there i honestly love printify and essentially you just upload your designs it's super easy it's free to use and you only pay printify a commission when they actually manufacture and ship an item that you sell. It was super easy. I just uploaded meme images on my coffee mugs, uploaded them to my Etsy store, and then boom, I was all of a sudden, you know, basically able to run an Etsy store and whenever a sale would come through, Printify would notify me, charge me, manufacture it and ship it. Alternatively, you can just use a print on demand marketplace upload your products there using the marketplace features and just sell directly you know on that platform you're not porting anything over to etsy or shopify or, or anywhere else two popular print on demand manufacturers are redbubble and society six both sites require you to be 16 years or older so hopefully you're that age or maybe you can get again a brother or sister to open the account for you it's the same print on demand model you upload designs you sell your products on the marketplace and you get a commission whenever society six or redbubble actually makes a sale print on demand is definitely a lower margin game than most forms of e-commerce just because you have to pay a commission to the middleman to actually manufacture and ship and those commissions can be pretty steep there's tons of people out there who find a lot of success with print on demand it lets you scale quickly because you don't have to worry about manufacturing or shipping or any of those headaches at the very least like you might leave the whole print and demand experience behind and not have made that much money but you might actually have a little passive income generating asset in your back pocket when you go off to college or your first full-time job i think print on demand is a great business model to try out if you love design and you're good at artwork i'm personally not that great so that's why i use memes to make merchandise instead of actually being artistic and creative myself you get the idea it's an it's a cool business model to try out and if you're looking to potentially generate a passive income source as well i think pod is definitely the way to go Idea number seven for how to make money online as a teenager is to start a YouTube channel. Unfortunately, YouTube now requires a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So you can't make money with Google AdSense on YouTube right off of the bat. However, I think that's a fairly feasible goal to work towards, you know, that thousand subscriber mark and 4,000 hours of watch time. And you can also get creative and place affiliate links in your description box. And you know, there's other ways to make money with YouTube. And again, this is kind of like blogging in the sense, like you're not guaranteed to make money and it might take you a while to make money. But I think starting a YouTube channel is just going to teach you so many skills that you're not going to learn from your high school classes and it's honestly just such a valuable use of your time to get into some form of digital marketing and publishing you're going to learn how to shoot and edit videos how to narrate them and write scripts how to you know market your youtube channel on social media you're going to learn so many skills the main barrier to entry with youtube in my opinion it's, it's the equipment expenses yes you can start with your phone but most people are going to buy a camera and a microphone unless they just do animated videos you actually have to have a computer that can handle video rendering which i didn't know when i started this so i bought a new computer which really sucked it, the expenses actually add up quite quickly. I spent about $650 on my camera and microphone. Not cheap, not fun by any means. If you know someone who already has a camera and microphone set up, that's a great way to get started without really dropping too much money. Maybe your high school has a photo club or film class or something. You can use their cameras and save some money. There's are ways to get into YouTube without spending a fortune and hopefully 
you can actually make money with your channel over time or at the very least learn some immensely valuable lessons about content creation and how to shoot and edit videos from your first YouTube channel. Idea number eight for how to make money online as a teenager is a bit more of an abstract one. It's kind of just the idea of getting creative and realizing that there's no cookie cutter solution that's gonna work for every teenager on how they can make money online. There are so many ideas out there and as long as you work hard, you're honest and you actually provide value, I don't think your age is really a barrier to entry in terms of making money online. You can get creative. You can pitch business owners in your area that you're gonna run their social media accounts. You can offer to do a website design for them or a website redesign. You can cold email bloggers or network them on Facebook and say, hey, let me help with your social media. Let me help with your Pinterest marketing. Let me help with your virtual assistant tasks. As long as you get yourself out there and again, you're honest and upfront about what you offer and you're, you offer competitive rates and you actually provide value to people, there's no reason why you can't get into freelancing or you know pitching yourself and selling yourself and your services as a teenager. It's honestly pretty surprising what you can land if you kind of just throw the idea out there. I know during college, my friend and I ran a Facebook ads side hustle and that was the weirdest thing to me because one day he was talking to a business owner, he literally just threw out the idea. He's like, thousand dollars a month will run ads for your company. Business owner was like, yeah, sure, makes sense, sounds great. Like you, you never know what will happen if you just throw an idea out there. You have to be able to deliver, of course, and you have to be honest and upfront always, and you know, show a strong sense of work ethic. I think that's that's probably one of the main barriers people actually run into is they just don't realize that sometimes just throwing out an idea or a proposition is how you get the ball rolling as a freelancer or business owner or whatever. You get the idea. Get creative, play to your strengths, and don't be afraid to sell your services to start making money online as a teenager. Now, it might take you your entire high school career, or even some of college, or even past college, but the entire point is you can make money online or start your own business or start a side hustle as long as you actually stick with it and you know you don't expect to make a fortune overnight. Now, if you have a nifty way to make money online or you've made money online as a teen in the past or you had some entrepreneurial side hustle that you used throughout high school or when you were a teenager, I'd love if you could let me know in the comments what it was and if you recommend it to other teenagers. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment what you think or what kind of videos you want to see coming up in the future. Hope you guys stay safe out there, have a great week, and I will catch you guys in the next one.